today looking to do whatever it takes to give their team an advantage. It's the Seahawks going up against the Giants. Now we'll go down to CenturyLink Field for this matchup. And Steven Hauschka looks set now to kick it away. Now as we go to the field, it's Dwayne Harris back deep for the kickoff. This game has officially begun. And here's Harris. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. He was the first pick taken in the 2004 draft out of Ole Miss quarterback Eli Manning. Well, once again, Eli Manning takes the field. This guy has never missed a step in his NFL career. Knows how to avoid trouble. Doesn't take the big hits. And you give this guy time, he'll get it done. The Seahawks defense now is going to go nickel. The Giants snap it at the 26. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring them down. That time, nice job of breaking the tackle. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Handoff by Manning. Not able to get away from Chancellor. Jennings, a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Thought I saw a little flinch right there, and it's going to push the offense back five yards. All start offense. The Giants line up, split backfield. the Giants snap it at the 41 and Jennings is brought down the running back position today will be handled by Rashad Jennings look he's a better running back who has power and speed but he also can block for the quarterback so you love guys like this that can always stay on the field Second down and a long way to go. Donnell with the reception. He is a defensive lineman who can dominate a game. Michael Bennett. It is all out every single play in the Super Bowl of the 2014 season. He was absolutely magnificent. He almost won the game by himself. The Giants will set up. The 44 is the first down line. had the pick. The Giants don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. All set to punt here. Hunt is kicked out of bounds. Wilson's heading on to the field. He'll be leading the Seahawks today. Russell Wilson is absolutely maybe the most mobile quarterback in the NFL. Hard to get a big hit on him. And if there's pressure in the pocket, he will get outside and make a play. Wilson's lined up, two tight end set to the ground. And that'll be a gain of about two. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. We'll go ground. And gains maybe 
four. On the way, third down. The Seahawks will line up the first down markers right at the 39-yard line. Lynch has got the carry once more. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Seahawks from the 37. He'll get it again. John Beeson brings him down. First and ten. He's going to get another carry. Lynch is brought down after picking up six on this play. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Right back to him once more. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Third down and five. Back to the ground. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. The offense still on the field here on fourth down. Needing four to stay on the field. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. The Seahawks on offense here to start the second quarter. Breaking huddle coming to the line at the 42. Russell Wilson has it under center. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Can't find space and this will be a loss of one on the play. Turban in the backfield. Single back set. The Seahawks take it from the 43. McCoy's got the catch and the first. Touchdown, Seahawks. Early in the second quarter, they've staked themselves to the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, listen, don't start looking at that scoreboard, though. It's too early in the game. You just got to keep playing. Don't worry about winning and losing, but it's nice to be on top. Wilson's going to look on now from the sidelines. That last drive, he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. Parker's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to the 20. A look at Odell Beckham Jr. right there. He's been off his game in this first half, Phil. Yeah, it's been an awful game all around, but the star wide receiver is having an absolute terrible day so far. And if they want to win, he better pick it up, find ways to get open, and hope this quarterback gets in the football. Giants running back that time, he makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries with the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Second and 11. It's the old counter play. The Giants run the risk right now of having to abandon the running game. Jennings had a really hard time of it, and right now his team, with it behind, knows they have to get him to step up. Well, they do. You want your running back to step up. And when you see a running game struggle like we have seen so far here today, Jim, it always comes down to this. The offensive line is getting dominated, so there's no chance for the running back to get anything done. The offensive line, they've got to change up. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Jennings tackled down at the 36. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Jennings trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Half time, two minutes away. All right, so now as we go back to the field, we've got a good game going, and an offense is trying to close the gap before halftime. Second down and seven. Randall's got it on a pass that had some heat. Do the little things right. When you do those right, you get big victories. And, and doing it right is what 
what this offensive player did that time. Had a chance to get out of bounds, stop the clock, give his offense more chances. Really good job by the offensive player. Right in on the tackle. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. You know, you go to the hurry up offense so you can get a high number of plays in, but also you don't want to use the timeout. Third and five following the incompletion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Manning's back in shotgun formation. Eli Manning out to Victor Cruz. That's his first reception today. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Jennings lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Manning's dropping back to pass once again. Surveys. The Giants get a first down. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into. But he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. First down here after the completion. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Anytime as a quarterback you see the receiver coming across the field on a drag route, don't lead him, just stick it on him. Quarterback throws it too far in front that time. Second and goal from the eight. Scanning the field. Giants in for the score. <laughs> and just before the half, they battled back and tied the game. That could do a whole lot for the mood of that locker room at the break, Phil. No question, Jim. It just gives you an emotional lift to find a way to tie a football game right up right before halftime. That was a nice drive and a good job done by the offense. And he'll start his return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Seahawks now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive. And you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays. But a good play there and another incomplete pass. Second down and 10. Could have been intercepted. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side. I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. Turbin takes his spot in the backfield. The give. Tackle's made and the first down picked up the Seahawks signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used the Giants defense brings in an extra member of the secondary they'll go nickel Wilson's off the mark there incomplete when you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. The Seahawks snap it at the 36. Looking long. And it's incomplete. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. They'll take it at the 20. 
the Seahawks defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jim. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. And the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call them out there, partner. Hey, that's what I do. I like to call them. Jennings a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They followed him up for a short game. And that's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back from the Emerald City for the start of the second half in Seattle after the break. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Giants defense is taking the field now just out of the half looking to hold serve in a tie game Phil, How much pressure do you think they're feeling as this game enters the second half? I don't know if they feel the pressure, but I'll say this Jim, you know at halftime I'm sure the defensive coach was saying let's go out and win the game on the defensive side So I expect to see something different here to start the second half. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally you're going to grab the face mask. Penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. First down, about three and a half minutes to go here in quarter number three. Wilson's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. That picks up seven. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Lynch lined up as the single back. The Seahawks have it at the 44. Wilson's running away from the pressure. And it's knocked down. The football rests at the 44. The Seahawks have to get to the 33 for a first. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Jumps high and comes down with it. Well, we were in practice on Friday, Jim. This team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all they practice pays off. That's reception number two for him. Second down, two to go. Slashes to the left side. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Russell Wilson able to run it in for the touchdown, and he is the perfect embodiment of how you see the quarterback position expanding now into the future. Yeah, you do. And I, what I like about him, you know, Russell Wilson is five foot eleven, and he kind of hides behind those big offensive linemen. He is a sneaky runner, knows how to get it done without getting beat up. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Harris has got it. Close game right now, partner, and you look at the matchup at running back, and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. It's a two-tight end formation. 
Halfway through the third quarter. And Jennings is brought down. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. And Jennings lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Handoff made. Charging ahead. Jennings met after a gain of 13. He's averaging about four yards a carry. The Giants look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Look out. The defense is showing a blitz here. Takes another handoff. Thomas able to read that play and make the hit. The Giants trail right now, and you wonder how much the running game stays a part of the game plan. Jennings been shut down from his very first carry on. No balance by this offense, like you said today. They can't run the football, but I've said this all the time. It's not always about just dominating physically and blocking up front. Running backs have to do their part. They have to make good decisions, and they got to break some tackles. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. Manning's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Not a whole lot of scoring here as we welcome you back to the action. Now looking at third down. Eli Manning will take it from the center here. Toss play to Jennings. Running room. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. The Giants, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get enough. Rings it in for the score in the end zone. Here in the early part of the fourth, we've got ourselves a tie game. It looks like this one's coming down to the wire. Yeah, you know, games like this, when you get in the fourth quarter, it's all about performing under pressure. We're going to find out which team can handle the pressure the best. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Seahawks offense would like to drive for another touchdown, only they would like to think that this time it won't go to waste, and their defense might step up at some point here, Phil. Well, all they can do is just go out there and score again. Don't worry about your defense. Don't start thinking about that. Worry about your job, what you're doing on the offensive side, because what you have been doing has been terrific. Can't hold on here as it goes incomplete. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. Second and ten. And the flag is down. Holding offense. The defense will take the penalty. To that penalty. It's now second down and 20. Here's Baldwin. That's another reception. Give him two. Probably the easiest throw for a quarterback to make in the NFL is the curl route because you can see the receiver. His body is square to you. Drill it in there. Nice job. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 35. Wilson's going to scramble. And he's going to be dropped for the sack. And they're going to be punting after a short series. The game is tied and time is a factor. The Seahawks snap it up at the 26. The 
the Seahawks turned the ball over on downs. The Giants had to deal with adversity early, Phil, and Jennings been a key component as he's chipped away at that defense and now finding room to work. Tim, it's like a boxing match. You got to throw some body blows early in the fight to soften them up. They did that. They softened that defense up. Now they're taking advantage of it. Stands in the pocket. Rashad Jennings with the reception. And Jennings is brought down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. The Giants have stayed with the run game today, and it's been a big part of their game plan. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. The offense was knocking on the door, and they finally are able to barrel across for the lead, and now we'll see if their defense can hold up. That's a good word for it, barrel. That's what they did. They just rolled over the defense, got in the end zone. Tough offensive line helped that running back get the score. Baldwin's got it. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. And Russell Wilson getting set to lead this next drive. And this is a drive where they cannot afford to come up empty. He must love this situation right now because he has all the talent in the world. And all you have to do on the offensive side is give him a chance. If he gets a little window, he can take advantage of the defense. Are you feeling positive vibes right now? Phil? Oh, absolutely, man. I'm all positive. That's how I roll. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense. Good job. The Seahawks now move the chains. That's his third catch of the day. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The Seahawks come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Looking to go deep. Great grab there, snags it with one hand. Well, when you see a play like this by the offensive player, that is a great reflection on the coach. You can tell they've gone over these situations. When you're fighting the clock and you can get out of bounds, get it done. Good job by the offensive player there. First down, pressure on every snap now. Let's see how they back up the big play here. He'll throw it over the middle. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second and goal from the four. And Marshawn Lynch with the grab. Coming up, third down. A huge moment. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Third and goal from the four. Makes the catch. Touchdown. The short touchdown toss all but ties this game up in the final two minutes. Yeah, it's a good call. You know, you had the defense guessing. They didn't know if it's going to be run or pass. So the offense, they took advantage of it. The aggressive fake. Now they get the easy touchdown throw. It's good. It's as tight as it can be. The game all square in the final moments. Yeah, when, you, when the game gets in this situation, Jim, which coach has the courage to call that play that's a little daring? They could backfire, but if it doesn't, it gives you a chance to win the game. And as he takes a knee, Manning will now bring his offense onto the field. The Seahawks defense comes onto the field. A tie game in the late going, trying to make sure they do not allow the winning points. Yeah, you're right. That's what they're thinking. And I'll tell you, the big thing is to make sure when you come up, make the tackle, extend your arms and wrap up the ball carrier or the receiver. Don't give up the big play, but try to get this game into overtime. And 
Cruz is tackled down at the 39. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. This game is all tied up, and it's headed to the wire. Now first and 10. Scans the field. Pass is intercepted. Beckham is there to make the tackle. The pick here in the fourth quarter has them poised to drive for a potential game-winning score. It does. Listen, I'll tell you, the quarterback that threw that interception, that was a bad throw, bad decision. And if they lose this game, Jim, I would not be surprised to see him lose his job next week. The Seahawks take the field. The game is tied. And can this offense drive down and win it for them? Yeah, you got to be alert on the offensive side in situations like this. The defense knows they can't give up yards. They can't give up points. So look for them to take chances and be very aggressive. Wilson's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. The Seahawks know they have to get to the 34-yard line to give their kicker a shot. to the line at the 46. The Giants lined up in the nickel. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Going for the home run. With the contact, the ball comes out. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Wilson's setting up now in the pistol. Second down and 10. Into the hands of Jimmy Graham. The Seahawks come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. Involved in a great game here. The game is tied. They're looking for the touchdown to break the deadlock. As they get set, it's just about winding the clock down right now. The Giants' defense will stop the clock here with under two to go as they want to preserve the clock. the line they're happy to take their time at this point that's a touchdown that's a touchdown what a time in this game to find the end zone what a call to win the game running it into the end zone you said it right it's what a call the defense expecting pass all the way the offensive coordinator calls a run and it gets them the winning touchdown the Seahawks now lined up for the extra point the point after try is in the books. So with the kickoff coming up after the late lead change, both sides know there's little time left and every snap will be crucial. a timeout call. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. Parker's going to test the coverage this time. Ball is out. The kicking team recovers, and here they go. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. 
that's the way they're taught to be greedy. Don't be satisfied with just getting the turnover. Take it all the way back to the house for the score. The point after is good. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these last <laughs> three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. Phil Sims and all the crew at